Hi, this is Julie Barkas, founder of MotivateTeachers.com, and today I would like to talk to you about your staff meetings and how to facilitate staff meetings that sizzle. Before I get into the real meat of this tip, let me ask you, how do you feel about your staff meetings? And how does your staff feel about attending your staff meetings? And what do you think the impacts are if no one wants to attend staff meetings? Well, I've been listening to leaders in the early care and education industry facilitate staff meetings for over a decade now, and I've discovered what makes them sizzle and what makes them fall flat. I've heard how staff members have many excuses not to attend staff meetings, even though they are deemed mandatory. And I've heard how directors cancel or postpone their meetings because of all the people who will not be attending. Why bother, right? I mean, it's not like you want to sit there for an hour listening to yourself talk, so it's understandable. However, instead of reflecting on how staff meetings are so dull and a big waste of time, blah, 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 let's switch our focus to how to create a staff meeting that opens lines of communication and unites your team and is a worthwhile experience for all. I mean, wouldn't you really like to look forward to the staff meetings that you're facilitating? To aid in this transformation, I've created a six-step process to creating staff meetings that sizzle. This process spells the word action, and each letter in the word action stands for another word. Today I would like to share with you the first step, which begins with the letter A. The A stands for anticipation. This is the first step because it gives people hope and eagerness to attend your staff meeting. It's like the old ketchup commercial, remember it? It's the Heinz commercial that says anticipation is making you wait. And then it clearly illustrates how the ketchup is so good that people will eagerly wait for the goodness to come pouring out of the bottle one little drip at a time. Well, you can create the same feeling about your staff meeting. You can facilitate staff meetings that will leave people buzzing about it for days to come and staff meetings that people look forward to attending. As important as anticipation is, many leaders think of it as something that's hard to create. It's something that takes time, and who has more time in this industry to invest in creating anticipation, right? Well, what I want to share with you are just a few things that you can do right now, yes, today, to start creating anticipation for your next staff meeting. When you think about anticipation and how to help your team feel it, think. What can I give my team the opportunity to look forward to at the staff meeting? And what can I look forward to happening at my staff meeting? Take just a few seconds to think about responses to those questions. The first one again, what can I give my team the opportunity to look forward to at the staff meeting? And what can I look forward to happening at my staff meeting? Now here's a big tip for you. If you don't anticipate your staff meetings happening, your staff members won't eagerly look forward to them either. So let's explore the first question. What can I give staff the opportunity to look forward to? Here are some words that may come to mind. Fun, food, gossip. Well, let's scratch that one off our list because although they may look forward to the gossip or getting caught up on the gossip, it's really not something we should help facilitate. Later in this video series, I will address positive gossip and how to get that flowing, but that's an entirely different beast. What else can they look forward to? Prizes, laughter, education. Now those words are a great start. Next, let's brainstorm the next question. What can I look forward to happening at my staff meeting? What comes to mind? Here are a few words to consider. Team unity, fun, connecting, building confidence. Those are a few great words to start with. One of the most important things for you to look forward to at your staff meeting is the end result of what will happen. So never ever start your staff meetings without enthusiasm for the end result of what will happen. The end result might include smiles, feedback, a plan of action, new strategies, etc. 
So before your next staff meeting, think about the end result of what you would like to accomplish during your staff meeting. This gives you a little insight as to what leadership mindset is necessary for facilitating a successful staff meeting. Now let's contemplate a strategy that you can implement with your staff to begin the process of creating anticipation in them. Here's one idea for you. Two weeks before your next staff meeting, create a raffle question and place it on a raffle box where everyone can see it, at least all of your staff. This question can be about a policy and procedure that you would like them to know or a child developmental question. And yes, it can be a question that they can look up the answer to. As a matter of fact, that's part of the fun and learning experience. The question will inspire them to increase their knowledge about a topic that you feel is important to know. On this website here at MotivateTeachers.com, we have over a dozen raffle questions that you can print today and immediately implement in your program. Create your raffle question with tabs staff members can tear off and write the answer along with their name. Let them know that the person closest to the answer wins a special prize. Then at your staff meeting, you can announce the winner, share the answer so everyone learns something, and award a fun prize. Next time we'll talk about the C in my six-step action system for facilitating staff meetings that sizzle. I'm Julie Bartkus. Please come and visit me at www.motivateteachers.com for more tips and strategies to help you create the positive and productive workplace that you desire and most importantly, that you deserve. Boys, your kids are slow. You mean your mom doesn't buy you hind? No why should she? Wait till you taste it. Heinz ketchup, the taste that's worth the wait.